Hey, it's Terrence from the Albany Tech Coaches, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily create customized certificates using slides, sheets, and a powerful sheets add-on called Autocrat. First, we'll start by creating a folder in Google Drive where the certificates will be saved. Navigate to Drive, and click New Folder at the top left. I'll name my folder certificates. When you're ready, click create to make the folder. This is a small step that will be important later. We will also need a Google Sheets file containing our student information and a Google Slides presentation for our certificate template. Let's go over each of these. To personalize our certificates, we'll start by adding our data in a Google Sheet which in this case is our list of students' names. Notice I've used the first cell in column A to clearly label the data as student names. First and last names don't have to be together in one cell. Uh, you can do this just as easily with first and last names separated into different columns, like this. Uh, in this third example, you could have additional information beyond just the name. Uh, so here, I've added the date the certificate is being awarded, as well as a unique award description to be included on each certificate. With our data ready to go, it's time to set up our certificate template in slides. Now, you can find a lot of great template designs online from sites like Slides Go and Slides Mania, and I'll include links in the video description so you can check these out. Uh, of course, you can always make your own from scratch as well. Uh, if you want your certificates to print nicely, you'll want to click File, Page Setup. You'll want to make sure that the slide size is set to custom at 11 inches by eight and a half inches. To automate the creation of our certificates, we need to create a tag in our template for each piece of data that we want filled in. You can do this easily in any text box by simply typing in two left angle brackets, the name of the tag, and then two right angle brackets. Now this tag here would be filled with student names. Note that your tags will work best if you use the exact same names you used as the column headers on your Google Sheets file. So here, student name with the space in between matches student name up here in cell A1. Now you could easily use uh, additional tags, which could be filled with specific award descriptions, the date the certificate is being awarded, and more, as long as the data you want filled in is included in your Google Sheet. So here would be an example where I have the first name, last name, award description, and date of the certificate all set to be filled in to this template. These four tags will match these four column headers in the sheet. Now, if your list of student names is separated into first and last names, you can use two tags for the names. And you'll just want to include that space between the tags. So there's a space between the student first name and the student last name uh, when it is printed on the certificate. The length of your tags may cause your text to drop down to a second line here, but as long as you've chosen a font size that works for the longest name you have, they should fit fine when they're filled in. With our data and certificate template prepared, it's time to work some magic using Autocrat. If you don't already have Autocrat installed in Sheets, then we'll want to make sure we're in Sheets and come up to Add-ons and Get Add-ons. Now, Autocrat will probably show up at the top of the list here because it's a popular add-on. Uh, but if not, you can always use the search here and search Autocrat. Now, 
Install Autocrat and give it permission to access information on your drive. This is OK, and you can continue with the install. Once Autocrat is installed, we'll close that Get Add-ons window. Then we have to click back on the Add-ons menu, click Autocrat, and open. Now we have to set up a new job in Autocrat to tell the software what to do. Down to the bottom right corner, click the red New Job button. Now to create the new job, we have to go through a series of steps. Step one is to name the job. So I'll call this Certificates 2, because as you saw, I already had one set up from before. When you're set with the name, click Next. Step two is to choose a template. Now we have a couple options here. Uh, we can click on From Drive so that it'll just open up your drive and you can find your template file from there. But also notice down below that we have recently used templates. So it already sees that, that we've been using these in slides. And I could uh, view these just to double check them and make sure, you know, I actually know what this one is. Uh, and then if I want to use that, I will just click the use link here. So student certificate template two sounds like the right thing. Let me click view and I'll double check. Yep, that's the one I'd like to use. So I'll just come back, click use. Now we're all set with our template being chosen, Student Certificate Template 2, currently selected, and we'll click Next. Now step three is Map Data Source to Template. So now we have to tell Autocrat which data to fill in for each tag in the template document. Make sure that this Merge Tab field is showing the correct sheet. So in my example here, I have three different sheets uh, that I was using for my examples. And sheet three is the one with the most info. That's the one I want to show. So I'm going to select sheet three here. You might not have more than one sheet. Just double check and make sure that the correct sheet is selected there. Now we're going to use the drop down boxes on the right to choose the correct data column for each tag. Uh, now, because I used the exact same names, first name with the space between, right, last name with the space between, or description and date. Uh, this already figured it out for me, and I don't really have to select. But uh, if it wasn't exactly the same, if there was any, you know, if, if, if Autocrat couldn't choose on its own but because it was the same like that, you could just select it from the list so that you know that for the first name tag, you're going to get the data from whichever column you choose over here on the right. Mine's all set up. That looks good to me. I'm going to click Next. Step four, file settings. Your choices here will depend on how you want to use the certificates that Autocrat generates. Uh, for this one, actually, let's do a little backwards. Let's go from the bottom up. Output as. Do you want Autocrat to create a separate file for each certificate or one large file with a slide included for each certificate within it? Uh, I'll stay with the multiple output mode so that I create separate files. Each certificate will be its own uh, separate slide file. But in some cases, it might be better to have all of the certificates within the same file. Uh, so I'm thinking if you were just going to print them out and, and hand them out hard copy, uh, then you probably don't want to open and print however many certificates individually. You'd probably want to just have them printed out from one big slides file, right? So you can choose multiple output for separate files or single output mode for one big file with all of them uh, contained within. Uh, type, do you want Autocrat to create a slides file or a PDF? Uh, so I'm going to stick with slides for my example. You can choose the one that works best for you. Uh, now, file name. How should Autocrat name the files it generates? Uh, here, I'm going to say price certificate. And notice that I can use tags here. So I'm going to go with the last name, comma, space, first name tags like this. And this should set it 
so that every certificate that's created will be named certificate hyphen student last name comma student first name just like that okay i'm gonna set with this i'm going to click next step five asks for a destination folder uh, so here we can click choose folder it's going to connect to drive and here we're going to select that certificates folder that we created earlier. So clicking certificates, select. We see that the correct folder is chosen here. And we'll click next. Now, beyond this step, there are a number of other settings for more advanced use cases. Uh, and some of it gets really cool. There's a lot of neat stuff you can do here. But this is all we need for our certificates. So at this point, uh, we can click the red save button. You'll see it says saving job certificates too. And now we're back to the autocrat sort of main screen here with existing jobs. Certificates two is now listed here uh, and it's ready to go. You'll see that we have buttons here. We can run the job, edit the job, preview the job, and we can delete the job. If we don't like it anymore, we want to be rid of it. So I think we're ready at this point to run the job. So we're going to click the play button and Autocrat is actually going to start taking the data from that Google Sheet and filling it into our template and saving individual slides files. You can see in the background here that row by row, these columns are being filled in with web addresses, this is actually an address to the uh, finished certificates. And if I click over to my drive and the certificates folder, I can see one by one as these certificates are being created. So let's say maybe I'll click on one here to preview it to make sure it's going right. Notice the naming, certificate, hyphen, student last name, comma, student first name. And we'll double click. It's going to open up. And here is my customized certificate of, elect of excellence for Kathy Coleman for earning the highest average in lunch presented by Mr. McNally on April 1st, 2021. So that came out perfectly. All of our custom information, the name, uh, the award, and the date are all here. I'll close that one. Let's pick one more. Let's pick Maudie. You'll see again, uh, Maudie McInnes awarded for subscribing to the Albany Tech Coaches YouTube channel. All right, Maudie. And again, presented Mr. McNally, April 1st, 2021. So you see that all of our uh, certificates here have been filled in. And right now you're still seeing like the template thumbnail. Uh, but if you click into any one of these, you're seeing that it's filled in with the correct information. Okay, so that's all there is to it for this project. Now you've seen how easy it is to use slides, sheets, and the Autocrat add-on to easily generate custom certificates for your students. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you find this content helpful. Uh, I'm Terrence McNally with the Albany Tech Coaches, and we'll see you next time.